What is going on YouTube? It is another beautiful day for a video, don't you think? I think. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I do know that I'm looking pretty tired. And I should, because it's like 10.30 at night. Maybe even later, I don't know. I just know that my room is, my game room is a little warm, a little toasty. I still got, um, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He thinks he's just all that. He's sitting in a, a boardroom with like the president and he's just chilling, feet up in the air. Look at me in my bad self. Let's change this out. Access granted. Let's try some Star Trek. Look at that. You see that? It was like the, um, Beam me up, Scotty. Scotty, beam me up. Okay, enough of that nonsense. Got a little something different for the background. We've been doing great. You guys tell me. Have you think we've been doing great? I think we've been doing great. What about you? Mara, you think we've been doing good? Let's go! Yeah, look at him. Anyways, um, what do you think? He's over here, so he's like, yes, I think you've been doing great as well. Oh, that's weird. Why do you do the things you do? You're so weird. What's wrong with them? That said, these are the 11 games that I picked up for the game room. We're gonna do it like we did in the previous video. Petty Net video comes up before this video, and if not, then we're gonna do the next video like this video. We're gonna see who has the better lineup. Again, these are completely randomness. There is no one thing over another. You tell me, PlayStation 3 going to do better or is Xbox going to do better, right? Yeah, Xbox. So which one does better, PlayStation 3 or Xbox? Xbox has one advantage, which is the fact that there's six of them. So they have one extra game in there that could tip it over the scales. PlayStation 3, let's start with you. Number one. Medieval Moves. And if you guys remember... I'm collecting PlayStation 3 games that are three to the D. Yeah, yeah. Um, this particular one is Medieval Moves, Deadman's Quest, Archery, Sword Fighting, and Throwing Stars. Look at those guys. Here's some of the gameplay on the back. It looks kind of cute. Uh, I feel like I've seen stuff about this before somewhere don't remember if it was like I'm, I'm getting it maybe confused with like dry bones from the mario movie or what but i think i paid three dollars for this game and i will tell you that probably was too much as it is <laughs> moving on from there let's find number two and i picked this one specifically i was looking down because i want to do number two as crisis two Remember, I think I told you guys in a previous video, look at the lenticularness of that Crisis 2. This particular one is limited edition. You get all kinds of extra content right there, most of which has probably been used, or I don't know, maybe can you still download PlayStation 3 content um, that somebody else got? I really don't know. But I do know it's Crisis 2. It's 3D. It's in the game collection. And number three, we've got... Crisis 3. If you guys remember in a previous video, we got the exact same game for the Xbox 360 because it's what they did when they were generational. You would have the 360, the PlayStation 3, and whatever the third one is. But anyways, um, this particular one is the same thing as the other one. This is the Hunter Edition. Includes day one access to the new Predator bow. Not going to really go over this game too much because if you already watched the other one, um, it's the exact same spiel you got like a fancy suit listen i'm not gonna go over it you get it here's the back of it and um yeah that's crisis three for the playstation three <laughs> i should have done this one as number two we have epic mickey two the power of two in 3d uh, just like in a previous video where I picked this up before, this one also works with the PlayStation Move, which I just recently got. If you guys follow me on TikTok at Jeremy Rewinds, uh, I did a quick little video about how I 
pull the PlayStation 3 apart. Um, I just did little still videos of them. Uh, just kept taking pictures along the way and snap, 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 snap. Um, and made a minute long TikTok about how I, you know, the PlayStation 3 is 18 years old and that's crazy. Uh, I think the Xbox 360 is, came out in 2005. I don't remember, but I remember the, the PlayStation, the Xbox 360 is old as well. They're all old. They're like me. They're old. 20 plus years or close to 20 years, somewhere around there. These things are going to start going up in price eventually here because people that have nostalgia for the PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360, like what's happening right now. Anyways, I only bought it because, see that right there? 3D. Woo, that fell. And number five. If you don't know what this is, I'll tell you. But if you do know, tell me down below. Uh, this is not just a steel book uh, or a video game. Like some people I can see down below. That's a video game. <clears throat> this guy's ridiculous. That's a video game. Is he blind? No, I'm not blind. I can see that it's a video game. This is Uncharted 3 right there. Now, the reason I bought this is because this is the steelbook that comes in the collector's edition that I picked up at a garage sale. If you guys remember, I already showed you him once in a previous video or a couple times. Good old Nathan Drake here, my man. Um, and this came with him, came with other things. Came with a belt buckle and a necklace that is the ring that goes around his neck and whatever else was in the box. Anyways, everything all said and done, I have the whole thing. I had to patchwork it a little bit together, but it's okay. It's no big deal. Uh, but this is really cool. Here's the inside. You can see right there. That's what the game is. Uh, but I have been playing Uncharted since it ever came out. Best, best game, top five all day long. Um, anyways, that completes the PlayStation 3. Um, there are only five in it. So let's see what the six PlayStation, I'm sorry, six Xbox games. Look at this one. You can see this right here. That's not even a Xbox game. That's a replacement game case. What a bunch of garbage. <laughs> Moving on, we have number six, The Hulk. Now, if you guys know, Mark Ruffalo played The Hulk in the most recent X-Men, or X-Men, wow. Mark Ruffalo played The Hulk in the most recent Hulk movies that were with uh, Marvel. This was, what was this, 90s, early 2000s? When did this come out? Hold on, bear with me. 2003. It was a good movie. I think this is a good movie. I, despite what other people may say, I think this is a good movie. This is one of those movies that I think doesn't get the respect it should get, kind of like Godzilla from the early 2000s as well. I think that was a good movie as well. I do think it's a little silly that the baby dinosaurs run around like little raptors. It was very much a, a Jurassic Park kind of thing, but eh, whatever. Um, but it was a good movie nonetheless. Number seven, we have another Hulk. This one's The Incredible Hulk. Now, to me, I've not played either of these, but I think this one looks more intriguing. <coughs> this one looks more comic book-like, and I think that's the reason why I think it looks more intriguing. This one is by Sierra Games. Sierra made some good games back in the 90s. I don't know if they still did all the way through the 2000s or not. I guess we'll find out eventually. Uh, anyways, this particular one, as you can see right here, is it's not a dark green, green, dark, dark green case, but it's pretty close to being a dark green case. Um, anyways, this particular one, what is that? Five, six, seven, this is number eight. Dungeons and Dragons Heroes. Uh, this particular one is by good old Atari. And uh, as we all know, Atari was a good company at one time. Who knows really where Atari lands and everybody's food chain in today's day, but four heroes, one goal, limitless danger. Um, I think this one is another dungeon crawler kind of thing with, um, I don't know if it's going to be a, like an isometric kind of like top three quarter, whatever you call that. Um, but it's going to be like a Baldur's Gate kind of game, uh, I think, uh, based on what I'm seeing. But it's a, a very good looking game regardless, and I'm excited to have it in the collection. Number 11, 10, number nine, we have Ra Ride or Die 187. Or is it 187 Ride or Die? Oh, it is. It's 
187. Is that my reading that right? Or here? There you go. 187 Ride or Die. That's what it is. You know what's funny about these games that I keep, 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 keep hearing? Licensing issues. Okay, this is Ubisoft. Ubisoft is still around, obviously, but the issue with licensings is like in this particular one, you can see right here where my finger is. It says soundtrack by Gorilla Black. So if the company that got the rights to put that in here, if they don't have the rights to get that anymore, then this will never get a remake. Um, do you even want to make a remake of 187 Ride or Die? Who knows? I, it may be a garbage game. I mean, look at this dude in the front seat. First off, he's in what looks like clearly a low rider shooting a rocket launcher is that for real and she's just chilling behind him with a couple of handguns girl that bet the kickback on that rocket launcher i can only imagine unless of course they don't have a good kick unless there's very little and look at the dude i just saw there's a dude driving the car even hilarious absolutely hilarious moving on from there we have number 10 before we get to our last one is 25 to life look at those guys absolutely hilarious they're like oh yeah i got 25 to life and what's funny about this game is you get to be the law or break the law so i guess you get to play as either person it's kind of like hot pursuit need for speed you can be a, a, a guy driving down the street in his lamborghini or you can be the cops driving down the street in their lamborghini uh, i don't know um but anyways there's that and our last game number 11 outrun 2 now, what's cool about this, first off, Sega made this game. Game case is not the greatest of game cases. Uh, in fact, the artwork's not even in the best of shape, but got a little waterlogged looking, so. But I really wanted this game. Um, the other one on the Xbox, don't get it confused. Do not get this confused. Outrun 2, great game. Outrun 2, coast to coast on the Xbox significantly more this is like a 10 15 maybe 20 dollar game somewhere around there um outlaw outrun to coast to coast same game just supposed to be better upgraded graphics supposed to be just a, a better version of the game i think it's got more soundtracks either way it's like a 300 dollars game so you go from a 20 dollars game to like a 300 dollars game so don't get them confused don't spend big money on outrun 2 and, uh, and don't freak out when somebody goes, well, this is a $300 game. If it is Outrun, Co Outrun 2 Coast to Coast. There's my spiel. That's my, um, what's the word I'm looking for? PSA. Uh, anyways, let me know. What do you think? Did the PlayStation 3 do it? Knock it out of the park? Did the Xbox knock it out of the park? Did they both stink up the park? Oh, what's that smell? What smell? I don't know. Tell me down below and we'll see you guys right here next time on Jeremy Rewind.